video. It's currently half three in the morning. It's Saturday, June the 29th, 2019. And the reason I'm doing this is because we are going to get wake to go to Bendorn today. <coughs> so we'll be doing a more comprehensive review of things like the hotel and that sort of stuff. But from what I've been hearing, it's got really, really good reviews about it. So I'm really looking forward to this one. So the next time you see us, we'll be at Gatwick. <laughs> We're going on a plane. 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 Going on holiday. Going on holiday. Going on bagels. Doesn't rhyme, but fuck it. So it is 10 o'clock Spanish time. I'm friggin' knackered, but we are here. Just got on the bus, so we got about an hour's ride, roughly. And the next stop will be our hotel. Interesting. Right, it took a while, but we finally got to the hotel. It's. What time is it? Half 11. Half 11 Spanish, Spanish time. time. So, this is the hotel. Now, we couldn't find the entrance, but we eventually did get around to it, as you can imagine. Uh, so, quick once round. Uh, we haven't literally been in like two minutes, and uh, already I'm impressed. So. We've got a duvet. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just excited. Okay. So, we uh, were given a suite. No, it's a superior room. A superior room. But I've seen, as I was walking along, one of the standard rooms and there is a major difference so for instance here we've got our bathroom with side door and this is really nice actually I'm going to turn around there you go so we've got obviously sink and usual stuff very decent size walk-in shower and it's got like, the extracts etc the usual stuff um, and then we've got so, one massive wardrobe, which is pretty damn good, and then we get sleep spray. What's that? This sleep spray. <laughs> is that just chlorophyll? No. <laughs> What's that little note? It just tells you what it is. So, and then you get these little hampers, like the bath towels and the slippers, etc. And then, it's a fairly decent sized room actually, compared to some of the places that we've stayed at. Yeah, all the rooms are usually sort of like a usual size. This, I'd actually say, is pretty damn big for what we've got. But then the piece of resistance is the view we got 
And I think, if I remember right, this is our second hotel we've ever been to where we've actually had a sea view. And the wife has taken the... Uh, oh, let me get these... The, actually, pretty good. Could you... I'm on the sunbed, Sam, then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we've got decent seats for hotels, because they usually give those the cheap plastic ones, but here they've actually gone that step further, which is really nice. We've got... Booty, my bloody pancheta, that's for Gornish! <laughs> that's my phone going off. Uh, as you can see, in the corner, you've got a jet uh, power bug, but... What was it that thing you called in the rock? I think it's just called Benadol Rock. So, just behind this ho hotel here, you can't really tell, but you've got Benadorm Rock. I'd say you walk in from here to the seafront, because you literally, uh, get my bearings right, walk out that door, and then there's like a little cut through one of these side roads down here, and it's less than five minutes. So we've got a really good hotel here. Oh, it's how you doing? Okay. So, we're going to get changed and go get a bike because we're both friggin' starving and go from there. So this is the inside of the Don Pancho in Benidorm and as you can see it's very well laid out. We've got the internet cafe here, a salon, the main reception over in the corner, main bar, there's a um, bar downstairs as well. Actually, no, I tell like bar upstairs because that's what will be, I guess, the top, the uh, first floor. So we're on street level. Uh, I can't show you the pool because obviously people are in there. If I'm honest, so far I've got nothing to have a problem with. We just had something to eat, reasonable price. Yeah, about 16 quid, but my drink was a fiver. <coughs> um, I had what, two sandwiches, two toasted sandwiches, and a milkshake and a drink. And that was about 16 quid, but to be fair, it was, it was really nice quality, so I'm prepared to pay that. It's very One thing I have found is the fact that a lot of hotels find it difficult to keep places cool, and this place is having no trouble. So. Tonight they've got um, two uh, sort of singing acts, and we'll see what they're like if we're awake. Bear in mind, I've been awake since about three o'clock this morning. So, see what happens. We're going to go down to the beachfront and get our bearings. If I remember, I'll add some footage to that. If not, it'll just be as and when. Cool. Bye. So, so we've just had our first dinner, and do you know what? I'm actually not finding anything like, oh my god, this is terrible. To actually say about this hotel, there are two minor niggles, but I understand why they are like the way they are. So, uh, actually, two and a half, but again, they are not. You know, they'll stop me from enjoying this and it will not get degrade this hotel so but I can understand why so the first one is that's the pool behind me so that's now split in two so you've got like a shallow bit and then the actual swimming bit now apparently from what I've read the um, hotel originally was a family hotel and that would have been a kids pool you can run? Yeah. you can run? Yeah. Yeah. so that would have been originally a kids pool with I've understand. We believe it had kids here before. Well, I did a quick bit of research. Mm. Oh, can you see our boot? I don't know. It's but, the corner one. One, two, three, that one. Hang on. So, I can see why it's the size it is, but to be fair, at the same time, we're right near the beach. So that's why it's the size it is, and that's not a problem. I think it's perfect. Yeah. And the other thing I like is the fact that they do this, Whereas a lot of hotels would get really annoyed or whatever, this place doesn't. They actually do this straight away. So that's one niggle that isn't bothering me. Should we sit down here for a bit? Okay. 
the second one <coughs> is um, the we've just had dinner and the food is immense. And the other thing that I've just found, <coughs> yeah, my wife, who's a bit of a picky eater, has actually been able to have a, a picky eater. Yes, a very decent meal. Because usually when we go to places like Salou or Grand Canary or anything else, they have to cater for families. Or, for instance, the Nautilus we went to last year, and what's the hotel in Grand Canary? Oh, Maspalomas Princess. The Maspalomas Princess in Grand Canary. Uh, those were adult only, <coughs> but because they had such a big sort of demographic of, of um, other country oh, uh, foreign visitors, they have to cater for everyone, and obviously no one's going to be... Are you live? Yeah. So no one is going to be catered every single time. Whereas here, because Benidorm is pretty much overrun by the English, they've come, kind of gone one step ahead, and they were like, well, so what do English people like? Well, we'll send someone over there, we think, and then we'll see what they like, and then they've just recreated it, but they've recreated it well. That's my thing I've always said. If you're not very good at cooking, do something that you can do, but do it as best as you can. And it seems to be, and it's well made. Now, they have here about nine sort of mains, but that's the beauty of it. Don't have too much, but do it really well. And they have done spectacular on that. And the, um, the desserts, exactly the same, just had crumbled. First time in ages I haven't had crumbled, but I think I've crumbled. Um, so they, I mean, they've done all that really, really well. So that's not a niggle. That's a good thing. My only niggle is our bathroom door. And my wife will, a bit, will probably agree with me. Do you agree about that? The bathroom door. No, I It's one of those ones that it slides, but there's no lock because there's nothing for it to lock onto. So who's was in there earlier, and the door just started going. As so I'm thinking. Oh dear, so I'm having, I had to keep closing it. That's my only niggle. But in the grand scheme of things, that is not a problem. Do you know what? I'm going to say this now. For all the hotels that we've been to, I would say this hotel is going to rank in my top three. In no particular order, you've got the... Um, Solaris. Solaris in Salou. Thank you, dear. This, this one, the Don Pancho in Benidorm, and I will say the Maspalomas Princess oh, in... I'll come back to that. That's my top five. Um, and then the Maspalomas Princess in Grand Canaria. The Rio Nautilus is number four, and then number five spot is left bank because obviously... Yeah. Oh, guys! Actually, no, I would say the, Roma, the Villa, Villa La Romana in Salou as well. The only reason that one's worth that is because it's changed hands and they've done a bit of a change, but it's been a long time so far. It's currently... How hot would you say it is now? The thing in the jig says there, 25. According to the scope over in the corner, that little green thing, if you can see it, it says it's 25 degrees. Now, earlier it got to about 36. So it's dropped a good nine degrees, and it's for us British people who aren't used to the thing called the sun. It's probably quite comfy for us here. So we're going to just sit around here for a bit, and then we're going to go and get our stuff, and then uh, head back out. Oh, by the way, we are. I actually just realised where our room is. So you got that corner plot there. Number 414, I think. 414, 415, something like that. So, if you're looking for a good hotel, I would highly recommend the Dump Hunter. So, we've got another. We go back on Saturday, so we'll see how that turns out. It's more on this later. So, end of day one. Before anyone points out, yes, I have taken my shirt off. Yes, I have a child. So, We've survived a very long trip, so it's what, three in the morning, get up, no, quarter to three, get up, and then um, get into here for UK time, 
I'm guessing about half eleven, half ten, half eleven, something like that. Very long morning, surviving on nothing but mints and pastries. And the uh, weather is now dropped down to a quite cool 24 for the evening. I mean, that's obviously nice. No. Yeah. It's about, I think it's just gone half 10, quarter to 11, to find that. It's 20 to 11. It's 20 to 11, I'm told. So we're just going to sit out here for a while and just relax before we go to bed. Now, one thing I, that happened earlier, <laughs> we were meant to, we had a bit of a nap. We were considering having like, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, four hours later. <laughs> We were like, oh yeah, we better get up because it was like seven o'clock. We really needed to get ready to go for some tea, and uh, that was really nice, as I said previously. So tomorrow, I think we're going to go to Mondamar, but we'll probably get a taxi or something because if we go during the more during the sort of lunch time, where it's at its hottest, it would just be too hot, and we won't appreciate it. So we'll probably go about ten, eleven. And uh, see what's around in Mandamar. We went to the what was that? The Sol. Pelicanos. The Sol Pelicanos, if it's that's how you pronounce it. The uh, program from the hotel from ben, the program Benidorm. Although we can't go, out, we couldn't get out into the pool because they closed it off. They got uh, shut the area off. Uh, we went to one called the the Flash. And it was kind of flash. What was the other one? Calypso. The Calypso. Uh, can't even remember much about that. Don't, oh, that had like a really, really tiny boy. It was not much bigger than the one we've got down there. But way more people. Yeah. So it had a much bigger um, sort of area for like the beds and such. But the actual pool itself was a lot smaller. But I'm not staying there, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah, we're going to do this and go to bed. So, night all. So, day two. After a very decent night's sleep, very well needed, we are now creamed up and ready to roll. This is our current weather. It's how hot? Half It's about half ten and it's coming to just under, just about 30 degrees. So, we're going to go to Mondamar. And. I can kind of show you the pool. Sea World. So, that's the pool. As you can see, that's the shallow and the swimming area. Very obvious. So, next stop, Mundabar. So, after a slight detour on the bus, where the driver told us he was going to Mundamar and he didn't, he's actually taken us to. Car 4. Huh? Car 4. Car 4, which is kind of like the. Um, What's it called? The Hypermart in France. I think it is actually the same. Is it? Company, yeah. Okay. So, we've now got to get a taxi over to Mundamar, but we have no idea how. So, we've got to work that one out. But it makes it better. At least it's cooler in here and it does actually look quite nice. Okay, thank you to our faithful driver. Mr. Taxi Man, who got us here within about 10 minutes as opposed to a 40 minute drive. We have now made it to Mandamar. We've got about, uh, I think maybe 10 15 minutes for the show that Gem wants to see is on. So we're gonna have a quick try at that. <laughs> Morning all, day three, or in our case, day two and a half. <coughs> so it's and here's 
half ten. So I'm just running down the clock. And it's about how long was it? We've had two different versions. So we've got the outside temperature, and those like little cross things that you usually see. It's got to be about 30 on that. I think it's just 20, it's just 20 something, but I can't see the second number. And when we saw it earlier, downstairs it was what, 25? So, we are just currently sitting on the balcony and we have found a few things on TripAdvisor, which we don't really agree with because of what they involve. So the first one says, don't, if you can help it, get a room with 15 on the end which is what we've got because they're really windy and you can hear the strip which is obviously behind us. Uh, both of those, well, we haven't heard the strip at all, even with the windy patio door, that's not exactly what you call small. Yeah, we've had that open a couple of nights and not really heard a play so you can ignore that one but I think it depends on So you're going to have it at some point. And <coughs> second, it says, um, like I said, about it being a wind tunnel. Over the last two and a half days, it's been so hot and it's actually really nice. And I'm pretty certain you'll agree with me on this. That it being a wind tunnel is a lot nicer because it just keeps us cool. We're sitting out here right now, melting. It's not a complaint. It's just So today is a pool day, and at some point we're going to go and look at the soul, so we can go and get pictures, and if we find where it stops, we're going to try and get the um, street train, or the noddy train as we call it, and then we're going to That was attached yeah, to a hotel. I've got it written somewhere. <coughs> Try and find that. Okay. Find it. Well, maybe get a bit. Um, yeah. So, be a nice, easy day, I think. And then tomorrow we're going to Aqualand. So, I should be breaking up the, uh, the neoprene top and shoes, so I'll be looking as sexy as usual. Um, I don't know what you're laughing at, you've got the same thing. Any of the shoes? What do you think your top's made out of? Though? First time I've ever recorded my wife being speechless. Oh, no, no. Speechless. So, at much request, we found the hotel from the program Vendorm. We are currently standing by the poolside. It's called the, the Soul. Yeah. It's called the Soul. The Soul Pelicano. Now I'm not going to turn around because there are kids on me. Okay. Some big tubers just turned up. What does it say? Evening all. So it's about half, it's currently 20 to 7 and the weather has suddenly taken a change. Now about what, two hours ago, give or take, it was bright blue sky and everything, yeah. roasting as hell etc. I mean it's still quite hot here but now it's suddenly just turned. I mean, don't get wrong, it's dropped the temperature quite nicely. But again, like I said this morning, where our room is situated, we are in kind of a wind tunnel, so for us it's actually pretty good. I mean, there are still people down in the pool at the moment, but it's weird. I mean, like I said, it was blue sky earlier, and now it's gone all like this. Now there's a 4% chance of it raining. I mean that cloud looks a bit ominous, but I mean if you look, 
can see a bit of blue just there. So I don't think it'll be lasting for that long. I think it's going to be cloudy tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to um, Aqualandia tomorrow. Big water park, in case you haven't worked that out. And uh, yeah, hopefully, if the weather stays like this, don't, obviously, we're not going to be full because, yeah, you can still get sunburn in this kind of weather. Just because it's cloudy doesn't mean that the sun isn't coming but through. It would be better for our eyes and things. Yeah. Sunglasses and stuff. Yeah. So, like Jen was saying, we don't have to worry about sunglasses and such, but it doesn't mean you still don't have to put on sun cream just because you're in the water park. It doesn't mean you're, you're not unaffected. You're not unaffected. But, you know, might be pleasantly changed. You know, hopefully that's the case. But you know, if it's like this, I'm happy with that as well. As long as it's not all the rest of the week, I'm happy. Yeah, I don't want it to be the rest of the week. Yeah. Thoughts so far? Good, if the back. <laughs> I should point out that she's happy she found the sweet shop. And she now has indigestion. Everything gets indigestion. Everything does get her indigestion. So with that, let's go and get dinner. Oh, and tonight it's Sister Act. It's Okay, two silence. Hello, someone from the United States of America, please. Put your hands in the air! USA! Football tournament. I love your flags, Scotland! Come on! Go Brazil! Go Brazil, quiero una hora! Una hora, preparamos ahí! Una vez, ven y ven, ven y ven, ven y ven! Oh, oh, oh! It's all to repeat! Repetimos una hora. see any video or anything like that because I can't take it into the um, park with me. Not actually to run around with it anyway. Um, probably just see a bit at the beginning then when we leave. <coughs> um, there is a photo of me 
from yesterday, I put on the, um, I've got like a neoprene shirt, t-shirt whatever that's called it, so I don't get sunburned because I always get it when I go towards parks so there's that, so I get to see me in that, maybe someday, I'm not sure. <coughs> so far, I'm really liking this whole day. The only thing that is a gripe is the aircon in here because it's so weak, even on full power. I mean, don't get me wrong, when we've got the uh, we've got blackout blinds and we've got nettings on the window behind me, <coughs> and when that's on, uh, the room does get very, very cold, very after quite a long time. And we usually have it on during the, during the night to cool off, during the day to keep the room cool. And I turned it off and it's now very hot in there. So we're going to speak to the rep and say, well, is there any way it might just need to clean or something? We don't know. But um, you can see down, down there, by the pool, all the staff just going around and straightening everything out and tidying up and keeping it clean, etc. One thing I want to add is there is a guy called Raymond who is built like a brick, brick townhouse, and he is the kind of pool attendant, I guess. He's actually a really nice bloke. He was explaining to me yesterday that he used to work for another hotel that was like a family run one. And he found it a harder job because there are so many different age groups and there's so many laws that, like, if you're you know, a male lifeguard, then you have to have someone you know, accompanying you on the opposite side so there's a parent for you. If kids are involved or you know, anyone under the age of 18, etc., etc. So that was that. And he said that. Um, he prefers it here because it's such a nice age range that uh, they're easier to deal with and they um, genuinely just don't cause much hassle. And I have to admit, I agree, I've not seen a single problem in here. Even the smokers don't even take a neck. They're just kind of like, yeah, okay, we know we can't smoke here, we can smoke here. They just stick to it. So I'm going to go wake up wake up the wife and then go get some breakfast. So, speak to you later. So, we've been to Aqualandia today. It's day three, so it's Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Um, so, review of Aqualandia. It's next door to uh, Mandamar, which is the uh, kind of wildlife slash sea life place. And out of all the places we've been to, so we've been to Aquapolis, Siam Park, um, Aqualandia, what was the other one? Um, the one in Tormelinos. It was Aqualandia as well, it's just okay. one. Uh, two branches of Aqualandia. Um, it still goes Aquapolis. Oh, um, what was the one in Orlando? I can't remember the name of that one. Whatever the really, really big one is in Orlando. That one and Aquapolis are ranked first, and then uh, it goes Siam Park, and then Aqualandia. Now the reason for this is because, actually I'll Aqualandia here and then the one in Tormelinos. The reason that the one here is that bit higher up is because it's a better setup, it's much more picturesque and it looks, and it is nicer, whereas the one in Tom Molinos was just kind of like really far out the way and you know really poorly managed and all that sort of stuff but those are just my opinions at the time I'm pretty certain someone's going to have an opinion about this so you know do we like uh, tonight we're going to go and find the the train what is it actually called tourist train the tourist train yeah those we call it the noddy train I'm not sure why and then we're going to see what the rest of the area looks like. So, next stop. Actually, it's about uh, 6 o'clock here. We're not, we're a little bit burnt, but 
considering that it was what 30 something at the highest uh, wife's only got a little bit on her shoulders and I've got like a tiny patch I've caught on the top of my knee both my knees surprisingly good so we'll see you on the train so a slight change in plan uh, neither of us was feeling particularly great after having dinner so we didn't think sitting on the train would be a good idea however we did decide to go for a walk along the um, promenade all the way till it gets to Old Town and then one thing one of the rep, our rep told us was that there is one hotel that's got a bar oh it's on that side as well, in front of is that there's a hotel with a bar at the top which is open to the public and you get much better views rather than just you know, walking around and just hoping for the best I don't know if this is going to work Bear with me. So, we walked down, if I get my bearings right. Uh, That's the old town. Yeah, this is old town on the right. We didn't get that far. No, we didn't go there. We didn't walk there, but we did get the bus there by accident yesterday. However, I think we were going to walk, we walked down... Uh, this little si small side alley and then I just basically walked right down to the, f the beachfront which is literally about a 10 minute walk from where we are now or well, from where the where that th um, wide road is from there down to the beach it's probably about 10 minutes but just notice that you can go outside so we're going to go get a drink and see what it looks like outside so this is us at the top of the hotel, overlooking the world. Or the so we left the pub, and now we're coming outside. Joe, I'm not afraid of heights. That I just made my legs go jelly. Don't know what that is down there. It might just be. It's just lights. Yeah, it's just lights, but. We just found out that we actually had gone like a really stupid route. We don't need to go down that way. The beach is over there. <laughs> so I have no idea what that bit is. The pool is tiny. Yeah, this is the smallest pool I've ever seen. Apart from a paddling. Well, only in relative to hotels, yeah. in relation to how many people there. But it's 20 floors high. No, 20 21. 21 floors high. But 19 of them are um, actual uh, rooms, whereas the one we were on was the pub, and then there's a restaurant at the very top. What's this place called? Mm -hmm. Madeira Central. Morning, everyone. It's about 11 o'clock here. It's another glorious day in Benidorm and we've decided we were going to go down to the pool but as you can see it's rather busy at the moment. The reason for this is because the temperature has dropped to about, according to this, it's about 25 which for us is quite comfy. However, when we went to Aqualandia yesterday, the jungle quite sunburned on our back and front and she's feeling a bit rough. So we decided today that, uh, that's right, it's under my eye. Um, we decided today that we're just going to stay up here so she can get some sleep because she didn't get much last night because it was hurting her. So she's currently on. Oh god. I don't know if you can see, sorry, a bit ADD. Can you see this window cleaner on the side of the building? The tall one on this one. That one there. Yeah, so she's done um, having to sleep as we speak. That's why I'm being quiet. So we're going tomorrow to Terra Matica. Which is like a theme park. Then we've got. Uh, we were going to hire 
the um, scooters, we were because she won't let me hire a disabled car. However, um, today is Wednesday, we've only got today, tomorrow and Friday. Now we're going to be spending pretty much all day tomorrow at the theme park. No, that's obviously we couldn't travel. Today she's asleep. So, I mean, I'm not too fast if I don't hire one. It was just primarily for a joke. Um, but we are going to go back to the hotel we went to last night, but during the day, so we can get proper views of everything during the day, so we can see better, and I can show you not. So for the time being, I'm going to be a bit quiet and sit up here so Jim can get some sleep. And hopefully she'll feel better. I've given her a couple of pain painkillers, and um, I've got some stuff on her back, so she, she seems to be okay now. So, I'll speak to you all later. So, front facing this time, we've just seen uh, the great Lotario, who is actually a pretty good magician from what we, yeah, magician wise. And now, we are going on the bus, not the bus, the tourist train tonight. So, it's about five, it's coming out to five to ten. As you can see, I've got Deadpool on the back of my phone, if you're interested. Wish.com quid for a pack of 50. Um, can email them if you'd like. So we'll be going around, I think it's the new part of town that we're going around. So the part that we're in, um, I haven't got the map nearby to show, but if you imagine uh, just like the standard coastline, so it's kind of broken up into like two, two halves and then like a little bit on the bottom. So the little bit on the bottom would be the port, then it kind of literally splits. Um, so everything on the left is the old part, everything on the right is the new part, and then there's like a little bit, which is, I'm actually not sure what that is. Again, if I had a map, I'd show you. So next bit, you'll see us on the train. In Mediterranean Blue Dome, this church has a neoclassical design. 
Inside, it shelters a symbol with strong ties to the town, the Virgen del Sufragio, Benidorm's patron saint. The Virgin has a chapel there, where you can see the small carved statue that was found in a boat stranded at sea. Fiestas Mayores are celebrated the second week in the month of November in honor of the Virgen, Virgen del Sufragio in San Jaime, patron saint of the city, devotion and pride of all the people of Benidorm. Torre Lugano, Mirador del Mediterráneo. El edificio Mirador tiene una altura de 123 metros y 35 plantas construidas en dos edificaciones unidas por pasarelas de seguridad. Su forma es muy característica. Torre Lugano es el tercer edificio. Morning. It's Thursday, so it's what, day five. Yeah. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. I went to bed quite late last night because we were out on that train. Which I think we're doing the other half tonight because there's two separate routes. Um, we're going to Terra Mitica today, which is like a giant theme park, which is up near a big mountain, or a hill, whatever you call it. But today it's a bit over, I wouldn't say it was overcast, but supposedly the temperature is meant to be around sort of 30, which is for us English people just about right sort of our maximum before we start getting to the point of being yet yeah, incinerated. So do you mind if I do have a go here? So we've got that to do say and then I think afterwards we're just gonna have a bit of a chill. So I'm just keep looking at something. Yeah so I think we're gonna have a bit of a chill out. Have some breakfast when Joe wakes up because she needs to sleep. And then, um, go from there, I guess. So, I will do my best to take some videos in the park if I'm allowed. Um, I wasn't allowed in Aqualandia because of, you know, the fact that it's a water park. Um, the train last night, we couldn't get that great video, well, great pictures, because obviously, obviously it's dark. And they was moving at the same time. I've only been up about five minutes. Yeah, we were moving at the same time, so I managed to get a little bit. Uh, the other one, I'm going to try and sort of add, add to that if I can. Um, assuming we get time to go on it. Then tomorrow it's uh, get packed, go down to the pool, have an early night, and go home. All in all, so far, it has been a very, very good holiday. In fact, it's been one of the best, best ones we've had. And I'm on summer, but don't tell the wife that because she's really annoyed with me. I'll explain why one when I get back. See how So, when you're on holiday and it's very, very hot, we recommend that you buy or bring a very small umbrella. However, cheap umbrellas tend to break. So, here is Jen's hack to fixing an umbrella when on holiday. Use a sewing kit. The end. So, after yet another bus ride, as it turns out, 
if you go for long distance in Benidorm, you really have got to check the buses. But we were on the right bus, and he yeah, we're on the wrong... here, but he made it look like you had to get off, didn't yeah. it? But we have made it to Terra Mythica. So we're about to go in and see what's what. As soon as we find the entrance, there's you a man. There's a giant. Okay, it's quarter to one in the afternoon and I know that yeah, most places in Spain tend to take a siesta but theme parks I don't think are that an exception and this you know, is how busy it is we've been walking around now for about 10 minutes and we've seen two people not including us hmm No, that's it. Okay, so we're in Terra Matica still. We've been here for about two hours, and like I said in the previous bit, where we saw very few people, we in the whole two hours we've been here, we've seen maybe not including the staff, maybe less than thirty people. There's one massive ride, which is one of these big wooden ones, which has been permanently closed down. There's a ride in front of us, which is called Tornado, which is... Actually, it's over my left. Uh, there's one in front of me, which is one of those, you know, it takes you up to the top and then drops you. That's shut. There's um, a really small one, which I just put the video on, called Inferno, which you literally go around once, and it's maybe... Four seconds worth, five tops, um, and they're so even the staff look that they're so bored they just send them around with no one on. There's that kind of waterlogged thing ride, which is seems to be like the only popular ride because it's probably got the only water one really. <coughs> um, but apart from that, this place should be absolutely hustling and bustling, and there's no one barely there's barely anyone here. I was deeply disappointed and it was like 80 quid to get in between us. Um, you know, it's just I've, we've been reading a lot of reviews now we're here and everyone's saying the same thing, you know, it's a shadow of its former self for a better word. So if you ever think of coming to Terra Mythica, I would strongly not bother. It's not worth it. Okay, so at Terra Mythica this is the highlight, the jacuzzi bit. Now I'm not going to turn around because there are kids in behind me, no one dressed, that sort of stuff. But we've been standing in here for about five minutes because it's so hot, it's nearly 40 here. We've both got umbrellas and we're standing in a pool, fully dressed. So this is proof on how badly run this park is. The water ride has broken down halfway up the ramp there's still water going through it and they've been there now for about 10-15 minutes and the woman standing up yeah the lady on, that was at the gate is now standing there making sure that the kids don't have a problem so far the only part of this place that has actually been worth going to as I said in the video a minute ago was the jacuzzi bit which is just there but for, what, 80 quid between us, and we've been here for about an hour and a bit, it's not worth it. So as it turns out, this part of the ride has been damaged as well, somehow. I imagine they're being taken out of the other side. But they've had, so the other side, which is in direct sunlight, is having a problem, and this part is as well, but they need two staff to walk them down because of safety and everything. 
Seriously, this, this place is a tip. Don't even bother. Okay, so we abandoned the park because it was shit. So we've come back. Oh my god, that pool's smaller than I am. It's like a Wi Fi signal. And we came back to the Madeira Hotel, obviously during the day, as you can tell, to come and get the better views. It's got views. an indoor pool as well. Okay. Um, to get the better views and something to eat because we're both very hungry. But already I can tell you, we got some much nicer views. near the top. So that's Benidorm Rock in the corner. Island. I and thought it was Benidorm Rock. It's the Benidorm Island now. Okay, Benidorm Island. There's a couple of jet skiers, powerboat in the corner, and the roof. So to add to, not insult to injury, but the bar that we came to a couple of nights back, which is on top of the Madeira, is shut. It's open from 7 until Midnight, well, seven till late, but I can't go outside in the balcony as you can tell. However, it's not exactly what you call a bad view, is it? Hold that thought. Don't know any, any better. So, this is all being worked on apparently for the last two, three months, I read. Uh, I don't think, oh, this does open. Don't think I'm going to open it, because I think I've just broken it. But, see, I'll go back to the other one. So, I'm doing a lot of toing and throwing here. This one's actually the better one. So, we walked down where that van is there, at Volapai. I've said that wrong, I'm well aware. Uh, where are we? Here. That's where we walked down. So we came out here, turned left, cross over that road, followed down to that corner, and then turned left. And then we're back down to the beach, which is there. So, pretty awesome, eh? Hey, all, it's Thursday night. It is just gone, it's just gone nine o'clock. Dinner has been wolfed, as you can imagine. Now we were going to go and get some scooters, but we can't find any that are well that will let us use them because they're running. They've been out all day, so they need to charge. So we came for a walk back down on the, on the front, but obviously this is the earliest we've been down. And just to show you, not a bad view when you look at it. Just like that sink in for a bit. So one of the things that I have no I've found about Benidorm is um, regarding those mobility scooter things is the fact that the program Benidorm in fact and all the kind of hype I'd heard it was making it sound like there was like a mobility shop every other, every two, three minutes. But believe it or not, it's actually very difficult to find them unless you are prepared to go and scout for them. And we have found a couple, so we're going to be riding them tomorrow. But we're going to get one of those double seat ones because it's just easier and it's cheaper as well. But the other thing as well, Terra Matica, don't bother going to, it sucks. I don't know if I've made that obvious earlier. Uh, what else is there? So one thing, the other thing as well, this here is actually connected. It's like a giant zip line, so it starts. We think. Um, huh? I said, move your hand. Starts there, goes to this one, and then it drifts off. There's another one over there, which they connect to. Now we haven't seen it running, but I'm told that they kind of do it around sort of midday. For about three, so like 11 till 3, 12 till 4, some point around there. So if we're down here tomorrow, we might see it, and if we are, I'll try and get it on camera. Uh, I think that they rent out um, jet skis and whatnot because I have seen them going around. Because over on the little box here, 
Yeah. You can see life vests and skis. So I'm wondering if that's where they hire that bit out. But tomorrow is our last full day, and then we go home on Saturday. It has been a very enjoyable holiday, if I'm honest. I will be honest, I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did, and I'm glad to have been proven wrong. So tomorrow is our last day, and we'll see what happens there. Apart from that, we're going to go off and enjoy ourselves, so, night all. Morning all, it's Friday, it's our last day, last full day anyway. Um, it's still pretty glorious weather, as you can see. Now, originally last night we were going to go and use the uh, scooters and yeah, the electric device um, transport around here, but we couldn't because we got there quite late and they said that you can only hire them for an hour and we're only open for another half. So we were going to go and do that. He did let us have a quick ride, sort of round, just up and down, just to see if we could use them, you know, how happy we were. And that seemed pretty straightforward. But then when we woke up this morning, we found we'd actually spent the money that we needed, and it ch the uh, ATMs here charge you <coughs> a fiver to take money out, plus the type of card we've got that you then get charged an extra two on top of that, so seven pound to take money out. So I'm afraid it's a no-go on hiring scooters and if you use your card then you have to do it for a certain amount of time and I think the minimum is an hour, maximum is two hours but it depends on what part of the day. So as much as I would like to ride one, it's probably not going to happen, not until another time. And I'm sure you're all really disappointed in that. Um, but, aside from obviously doing all the packing, which is not going to take more than 20 minutes, because you will notice that whenever you're packing to go on holiday, everything's neat and tidy and all that sort of stuff, but when you're leaving the comeback, you're like, oh, screw it, just throw it in. That's pretty much what this morning is going to be like. Um, amongst, yeah, nicking bits from the room, like all the toiletries and that sort of stuff, because let's be honest, we all do it. Don't lie. <coughs> um, it's about... Half nine, ten o'clock, I think, somewhere around there. So we'll be doing that, and then finally, we've just had our last breakfast downstairs, so that was that. And we've got one more dinner to go, and tomorrow, we'll, at this point, tomorrow, we'll be on the plane. And as I was saying to my wife last night, the weirdest thing that I find when leaving to come home is the fact that you have to wear socks because. Think about it, you spent a week, two weeks, however long you are, you take your holiday for, in shorts and t-shirts and shirts. I mean, a t-shirt and a shirt, you can wear every day, so it's no different. <coughs> but wearing shorts and flip-flops for a week, and then having to realise, oh, by the way, you can just go and put jeans on, and a pair of trainers and some socks. Well, to you, that may not sound different, and you, that may not sound weird. But to me it does because I'm so because I live in England it's so cold and wet most of the time that when you think oh we get some sun we ought to and it's hot, warm enough to actually be able to stay out there for more than half an hour we actually go ahead and do it but then when we're in on holiday wherever it is really hot like for instance yesterday and the day before I saw there was a guy walking around actually it was a couple yesterday. And a couple wearing jeans and t-shirt and a jumper, and they were locals. And we heard one of them saying that they were cold. But to us, yeah, you know, it was 30 degree weather. But to us, we're kind of like, well, this is ridiculously hot. How can that be? So, for us, it's going to be the reverse. So we go somewhere really, really cold and wet to somewhere nice and hot and dry to then have to go back to it. So you have to acclimatise yourself for all the weather that you originally come from. Hence the short, the um, jeans and the socks. So that's going to be something to get used to. Yeah. Anyway, time to go and pack. Okay, so a change in plan. I have got a scooter. This is no joke. Her name is Zia Mara. So I'm 
and uh, just applied that for 10 euros for an hour. So apparently it will do up to 25 kilometers. So we're going to see how far she can go. See you in a bit. So travel update. I covered the whole lot from that really tall building with the kind of ball on the end, the white one, into here, which is where we got to last time, in about four minutes. I'm loving this. I'm going to buy one. I should point out that behind me is Old Town. So I'm going to scope around there and see what's around there. We haven't been there yet. So, I've just covered another little bit. I found my way through Old Town, which is just behind me, along to this pier. Now, there are stairs that lead down to the boat which is right here. That's one of the kind of guided tours, I'm assuming. But this sounds similar. I'm guessing this is like the main port. There is something on the map that doesn't explain about it, before, but I've never really had a chance to go and look for it. I thoroughly recommend getting one of these scooters, they are so much fun. Um, so, this is the other beach, I think, well, I'm going to try and figure out how to get over there. Uh, maybe have a look. But long story short, I'm nice, you know, I go along. Beach. I really don't know its name. I want to say Levante, but I'm not sure. That's the port over in the corner. This is the other brick road. I'm going to try and get a picture of on the way back if I can get a minute. Pretty nice view over here at the moment. Okay, so I've just returned the scooter and it was awesome to ride. Not difficult at all. And it was coming, it came from the scooter hire place, which is called BMR Benidorm Trips. Nice little place down the side, not, not busy, so very little wait time. I think I was done and dusted in about five minutes. Worth it, that's all I can say about it. Guy who runs it, really nice, really friendly, and yeah. Add that to your trip, and you had segways, scooters, mopeds, bikes, big old thing, basically this. So, if you want to screenshot that, go ahead. So, this is Friday night, we are on the balcony of the Mediterranean. Now, at the moment, this bit's closed off because apparently they have found some archaeological um, sort of something. something and they want to dig it up. Now, apparently, there used to be a there was a castle up here of some kind. I don't know. So we obviously can't go into it. But this is the view from the very top. As you can see, you've got the pier down down there. Uh, this I got up as far as that kind of yellow block hotel over in the corner. Yeah. What's on the scooter? Okay. But all around here. Got the view. So we're still on the opposite side of the of the island. Island? Well, you know, the opposite side where I was earlier. And this is the part of the town that I never got a chance to go to because I was in a rush to get the, the scooter back. But it's quite rammed. Oh, good. There's loads of weapons. Wait a minute. So you got all the usual stops. Well, this is... This is the old town. This is the old, technically the old town, I'm told. And there's a place there called the Hotel Colon. <laughs> right, it is, according to the clock out here, quarter past ten, and it's still 28 degrees. I'm not kidding, it's so 
I'm going to rephrase this. <clears throat> it's not hot, it's just extremely humid. But this is our hotel at the at night. The pool behind me. And we've, we're just sitting out here because it's so cold. Well, cool in this spot because we're not on street level. But if we're going to go to our room in a minute and finish packing and sit on the balcony because it's basically a wind tunnel on that spot. And it will, as I've said many times this week, but it has been a very enjoyable holiday. The only downside was Terra Mythica. We haven't actually found a, a high point because it's been such a good holiday that it's all been the high point. And I think you agree with me on that? Yeah. So with that, we're going to go to bed and, and next time you see us, we'll be on the plane going home to 23 degrees. Seeing the round. Yeah, and seeing our cat's bark. So, night night. Saturday morning, it's about ten past six. I've been very quiet because obviously people are still asleep. But this is the weirdest thing. That bar over there is still open. That bar I just showed you is still open. And you can hear everyone on the strip just drinking, partying, etc. And we were just saying that. I mean, I've never been on a night's holiday, so I don't know. But those over there will be so hungover, and from the sound of it, it's mainly boys, will be so hungover that when they go back to the hotel in what, an hour or two, they'll, one of them, and I can guarantee you this, will say, I'm never drinking that much again because they'll be so hungover and sleep deprived that they'll be like, oh, I'm never doing that again. And they'll do that again tonight. And you think, <laughs> it is. But, you know, that's a lad's holiday. So, this is our room. What's left of it? Bear in mind, I've only, we had the aircon on last night because it was so hot and humid. Can we work up with, obviously, this morning it was really cold. And in less than a minute, having that open has actually heated the room up quicker than having the heating on on the aircon. That's how warm it is here. So the next time you see us, we will be, well, at the airport. So this is goodbye from the Don Pancho in Benetton. I don't know the address, but it's very easy to find. It's on the seafront. And that, well, I'll do a quick run downstairs actually, so I can show you what the rest of the hotel looked like. But apart from that, see you at the airport. I've had a week of shorts, flip-flops and shirts and this is what I have to go back to. Not happy. Welcome to Alicante Departure Lounge where you have all the usual shops like, you know, the Seagull, Victoria's Secret, Subway and behind us is a WH Smiths. They're like everywhere. It's the yellow one in the corner with the county written on it. So here we are at Alicante Airport. We've just been through two sets of departure gates. And this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. We've got the whole area to ourselves. And it's the first time I've ever seen a play park in an airport. Little things, right? And as it started with a plane, it ends with a plane. Say bye. Bye bye. Hasta luego. Players, see you in Blighty.
Before you fly with us, I can see how you download the EasyJet app and that you take full control. Now, all in one app, it's never been easy to book flights, check in, download boarding passes, and manage your trip from one to the other.